Experts pick the top Mac speakers under 150 bucks. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So obviously, full disclosure, if I was to go out and buy 20 different pairs of speakers, I'd be living in a shoebox, right? Because I'm a small YouTube channel, I can't afford it. But what I can do is something better than that. So I went out and looked at all the main kind of sites out there that do reviews. I looked at CNET, Tom's Hardware, The New York Times, PC Mag, different companies like that. And they all put together lists of the best speakers for under 150 bucks. So I looked at all the different websites and I put together my own list of 20 different speakers that they're all recommending in some form or fashion. So what are the best 20 speakers that are under 150 bucks for your Mac. We'll also work on your Windows PC. Sit back and relax and we're going to go through this list fairly quickly. Now let's just be honest. If you look over here, I'm not going to be talking about speakers like this, the Kef LSX2 wireless. These are $1,300. So if you're looking for studio speakers like this, we're talking $150 or less. I'm even going to show you some that are under $50 that are actually really good sounding. So you got to take it with what it is, right? I'm going to go through them very quickly as well because there's 20 of them. So I'm just going to give you the names of them basically and just show you some pictures. So I'll have links to all this in the description. You can go ahead and do your own research. I totally recommend it to see what kind of connections they have or if it's Bluetooth and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's go through all 20. I think there might be 21, maybe. Let's go. All right, number one, I'm just going to get out of the way because it's the one everyone probably knows. The, the experts all say Apple HomePod Mini right here. It's 99 bucks. They say it gives you a good sound if you just Bluetooth it over to the speaker. If you want two of these, it's going to push us over that. So we're talking just one in this list here. Overall, this was on the list. Everyone's kind of saying, you know, obviously this is a good choice if you want some just basic sound, but not like monitors or not stereo monitors. So overall, let's just get this off the list. That's going to be not the number one choice, but it's one of them. All right, number two I've personally used. This is from a company that makes a ton of speakers for Macs or for Windows PCs. It's called Edifier. And this is gonna be the G2000 32 watt PC speakers here. Now 32 watts is a lot of watts for tiny little speakers. This is 114 bucks right, here, right now on Amazon. You can see it right here. They also have Bluetooth. It's also got a 3.5 millimeter aux jack. So you can go ahead and connect to this various different ways. But look at the company. It's, it's E-D-I-F-I-E-R store. So they make really good speakers across, you know, across a lot of different channels. And there's a couple more that are recommended through this list here. But these I've actually used. They're very, very tiny. I don't know if we can show some of the pictures in here. But they're going to be small. I mean, they're not that small. They're maybe a little bit bigger than the ones I have sitting right here. But they give you a really powerful sound and a lot of wattage in a little package like this. So these are highly recommended by a lot of the people on these lists and I would definitely check them out. All right, the next one on the list is recommended by almost all of the experts and so it's one of the top ones you should actually look at. Over here, it's called the PreSonus Eris 3.5 Bluetooth Studio Speakers. Now, these are 149 bucks, so they barely make that cost. And if, maybe they'll go on sale. It's an Amazon choice also, 4.6, but 24,000 ratings. A lot of people bought these, you can see here. So one of the best ones you can buy, they do have an aux in the front, headphones in the front as well, volume. They are Bluetooth compatible. They look really good on the desk as well. Um, these are gonna be the black color. I don't think they come in any other colors right now. So, and these are gonna be three and a half inch. So they're gonna be a little bit smaller, but for the cost here, and let me just see if there's anything else down here. You can see them in here. They make a whole bunch of different size ranges. These are gonna be the smaller ones up here on top, the 3.5s, but they have a lot of wattage in them as well for what they are, up to 50 watts for those small things. So you're gonna get a good sound there. Overall, for 150 50 bucks. These are one of the probably the one of the best I recommend. All right, the next one is a whole suite of ones, and I'm, only, I'm gonna count them as one, but I have some sitting here. These are the Creative Pebbles. Now, these are the really cheap ones. These come in at like 18 bucks. If you look over here, I, I got these for $18, but they're not the best sound. I mean, they're, they're, they're okay. They, you know, they connect into your computer. They don't have a power source. I think they're like six watts or something. But over here on the website, you can see that they make a whole bunch of versions. They make another version up from this that's got Bluetooth. These don't have Bluetooth. These ones do here for 34 bucks. And these go up to what, 16 watts? So they get a little bit more wattage. Then you can go up to the Pro model over here, which is uh, 49 bucks, and these give you, let's just see here, a little bit more wattage in here. I can't find it, but it's gonna be a little bit more, but they're actually pretty good speakers as well. They're the pro version. And they even have a cheaper version here that's, the wattage goes way down, but you get a sub here, and these are about 39 bucks. But I don't, you know, these are not all the ones I'm recommending on the list. I recommend these here. These are called the Creative Pebble X Plus. You can see here, there's two speakers here in black. Now they're gonna look exactly like the one sitting here in white, but they're gonna be in black. And they're also gonna have a sub here, but these are $129. The reason for this is a couple of reasons. They're a lot more wattage. If I scroll down here too, the, the, I just love the way this thing actually, the size of it. These speakers are the same size you see here, but the, the sub is only six inches by six inches. So it's a tiny little sub that creates a lot of bass and it's got a really good sound. I've heard these in, in real life. 
you know, I may actually pick these up. Obviously, it does have RGB and some other factors people may not like, but I think you can turn that off. I haven't, you know, fooled around with it. Do your own research. But obviously, for the cost, I think these are one of the best sounding, especially if you want a little bit more bass in your music. These are pretty good. All right, the next one's gonna be a little bit cheaper at around 80 bucks. This is the Edifier. This is the R33 Bluetooth or BT Active Bluetooth Computer Speakers 2.0. You can see them right here. They're only 79 bucks. These were on all the lists as well. And uh, they're gonna be just kind of studio speakers. You gotta have to like the look of them. They do have a you know, front panel on them that you can take off. In the back, it has you know left and right and an aux, little aux area there. So you can stick in you know, a computer cable into there and go ahead and listen to your music. So it also has Bluetooth. But highly recommended by a lot of the companies. And for 70 or 80 bucks, these are one of the cheaper ones if you want kind of the studio like looking speakers i recommend these i have not heard these directly but i've read a lot of reviews on these and a lot of people like them so i think it should make the list the next ones are on the list also by edifier this is going to be the edifier mr4 powered studio monitor speakers they're four inch speakers so they're very very tiny they're not that big i guess they're about like this size you can see 129 bucks these do have bluetooth in them as well they're just going to be a step up from the ones i just showed you on the front it has the aux on the front headphone jack volume there on the back of them let's just see if you can find the back of them here they're not showing us the back. Let's just scroll down here. So on the back of them, though, it has a whole bunch of different connections. And again, you have to go in and take a look at and see how you're going to be connecting these into your computer. But you may need some speaker cables or some you know different types of cables to get them to work with your computer the way you want them to. Overall, though, these are really just highly recommended for the sound of them. They also have kind of like a, you know the look and feel of a Mac. Obviously, they're white. They kind of have a carbon fiber cone in them as well. So they look really, you know, I think the, the look of them brings the cost up as well. But they're definitely a step up above the ones we just talked about, the other edifiers for around 80 bucks. A little higher, you know, wattage and things like that. You're going to get a better crisp sound. And they were all on their ex experts, you know, sites as well. These are great speakers from what we can tell. All right, really quickly, we got two more from Edifier. They're all on the list here. This is the Edifier. It's the R1280DB Power Bluetooth speakers. These are going to be, uh, you know, step above the last ones we just showed you. 141 bucks around 142 bucks, I guess, Bluetooth enabled as well. So these actually come with the remote here. A lot of people say the remote's okay, but I mean, you can you know go ahead and do your own research. And if you even need that, I don't know. It's nice to have one, I guess. These are gonna be, again, studio kind of monitor speakers for your Mac, gives you good vocals, gives you, you know if you're doing kind of uh, recording with some instruments and stuff like that, you're gonna get a really clean sound back. And these are gonna be for, and they make a lot more higher end speakers, but these are gonna be kind of at the top of the limit on our price point here. So obviously they have the volume control and the aux and everything on the side here. So overall, they're really good, up to 42 watts though. And that's what gives it the oomph there for these tiny little speakers. It's a lot of wattage for a computer and you're gonna get a lot better sound than like these little cheap ones over here. And then the next one in the list here is, is basically the same speaker. You can see here, it's the Edifier, it's the R1280T. The only difference here is gonna be, it comes with a remote control that's got a little bit less features on it. I don't know if you can see it here. It's got three buttons instead of a whole bunch of other ones, and it doesn't have Bluetooth. So these are gonna be directly connected into your computer. So keep in mind, if you need Bluetooth, I wouldn't recommend these, but if you wanna save, what, 30 or 40 bucks there, you can pick these up, but these were on the list as well. All right, so the next one on the list here is gonna be the Steel Series Arena 3. And this was on quite a few of the lists that we looked at. This is 120 bucks off at 7% off right now. These are gonna be more like little studio, or I guess they call them satellite speakers, almost like those like bows. Remember those bows that had the little ones in the corners? Kind of like that. You're not gonna get a sub here. On the back of them over here, you can see in here, it's gonna have the headset, aux, PC, um, connections that you can plug directly into your computer there. They are Bluetooth, has built-in Bluetooth, is obviously compatible as well. So, but if you want the cheaper ones here, just kind of the satellite speakers, 120 bucks, sounds really good. Can't go wrong with these. These are always on the list as well. All right, now we're getting down to some more kind of, well, we're going to go back up to some more expensive ones, but here we go. This is more of a budget one. A lot of them recommend this for some reason. This is the Logitech Z207 2.0. Uh, you know, we see here it's got Bluetooth for this cost, it's got Bluetooth and the aux cable as well if you want to do connect through aux. On the front of them, it's got, you know, headphone jack there. On the back, it's got the aux cable. But these are going to be, what is it, about nine and a half inches tall, so not that tall, about like that. And these are only 54 bucks, though. But if you want a very inexpensive speaker with clean sound, good enough for listening to music that are going to be better than your computer speakers, definitely better than laptop speakers, 54 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right, the next one, I you know, I've seen these on Amazon a few times, but they were on a couple of the lists here, so I want to recommend them here. They're 69 bucks. This is going to be the Sanyun. It's the SW208. They're three-inch active Bluetooth speakers, so three-inch cones, not that big. I mean, maybe like that much around. You can see them here. So they're going to be really a lot smaller, but they're only about 70 bucks. You can see here, it's got a 4.2 out of 5, and it's got a 53 or 5100 rating. So a lot of people have purchased these. I've seen them around. They've been out there for many, many years. They got volume controls, bass controls on the side of it. 
And you can see just the basic look and feel of them. I think people like these. I mean, they, in the, you can see that it's got a USB cable as well that you can connect into your computer here. It's got an aux in and then it's got a left out which you connect to the other speaker. So it's very, very simple. I think people like these because they kind of look like the higher end speakers. They have a decent sound to them. You can see how big they are here, right here next to like a laptop or something. They're pretty small, maybe about this tall up off the ground. Overall though, they've been around for a long time, tested for a long time. So I think they got it down. Uh, 70 bucks, you can't go wrong if you want kind of that look and feel of those nice kind of um, you know studio monitors. All right, let's keep moving. And I've actually owned this next one. This is the Klipsch. It's the Pro Media 2.1. K-L-I-P-S-C-H, and it's the THX certified, don't worry about that, computer speakers, all right? They're $120. Now, let me just tell you a couple things, because since I've owned this, these things are super powerful, super powerful. In fact, this thing here weighs like 20, 30 pounds. The speakers are, you know, maybe you know, a couple, maybe about six inches tall. But as far as the wires, let me see here. It says up to, in here, let me just go down here. I think it says... Explosive 260 watts peak power. Can you believe that? 260 watts on these. So these are going to be like a, a step way above. So if you want to fill a whole room with sound and stuff like that, in fact, when you plug these things in and you plug the cord in, there's a cord that goes into the wall here. You can almost like, it's one of those things that make the lights kind of flicker. In full disclosure, I had these for many years. They were one of my favorite sounding speakers. They're just massive sound, but they actually did blow like a circuit or something and they, they got ruined after about three years. It made like a noise. And I think it just it had so much power that it just blew out. So, I mean, I, can I recommend it? I mean, it's got a 4.5, 10,000 people bought this. I recommend it, but I had an issue with it. Like after three years, it kind of blew out. It wouldn't work anymore. But if the sound was incredible and if you want high wattage, high sound, a lot of bass, this is for you. All right, the next one recommended by experts, Klipsch again. This is the Pro Media 2.0. So this is kind of the, the dumbed down version of that. It doesn't have the sub or anything like that. 81 bucks here, 4.4 rating here. Does have Bluetooth compatible. The ones I just talked about before, those really powerful ones, they did not have Bluetooth, but these ones do. So these are cheaper. You can see in the front, they're just basic speakers. You got the aux in, you got the headphone jack, you got a bass volume volume and then you got a bass kind of volume switch as well so these are recommended just by pure sound again not the most bassy but they're going to have really good sound for just listening to kind of classical music and stuff like that or just voices youtube videos and things so we recommend these as well or i don't but the experts do let's keep moving down the list so here's another one. I don't know if you know about Monoprice. They say, you know, go to monoprice.com. They sell tons of cables. They also sell some weird stuff. This one was on the list for, for what it is. They're just under $150 at $149.99. They have Bluetooth 5.0, but this is the Monoprice. It's the DT5. BT, 60 watts. You get 60 watt monitor speakers and they're actually really attractive. You can see them here. They're very, very minimal, I guess you'd call them. They have aux in the front. On the back of them, obviously you can go ahead and have various connections there as well. Again, do your own research and all this stuff. But overall, I think the look and feel of them and the wattage it's going to be a very powerful speaker, 60 watts for kind of just sitting on your, your desk like this. And they're kind of a no-name brand where they don't really put it like you can see none of their brandings on the speaker. So you're going to get a clean speaker. Overall, though, this was recommended by a couple, couple of the experts. So we had to put it on the list. Now, let's keep moving. So this is more of a common one. You might see at Best Buy, but this made the list as well. This is the Logitech Z407 Bluetooth compatible. So these are Bluetooth computer speakers. So these are Bluetooth as well. 114 bucks right now. And it has a puck where you can adjust the volume and the bass and stuff. But overall, you, you know, you've seen these in obviously computer stores or Best Buy and stuff. But this one overall has a very clean, crisp, bass heavy sound. Very good sound if you like that kind of stuff. And you can't go wrong for 114 bucks. So if you're looking, you always see boxes of these with the subs and stuff. But this one's one of the better ones if you kind of just want someone to tell you as far as the experts. Definitely just pick this one up and you're not going to go wrong. All right, the next one on the list I have not actually heard of myself personally. Here it is. It's the JBL Professional 1 Series, 129 bucks. So not a bad speaker, obviously. A lot of people probably can't see, you know, they don't find these in the Best Buyer. These are kind of more of a specialty speaker. And uh, 129 bucks, they are, they do have Bluetooth on them also. They're called the reference monitors. That's what they're kind of calling them. So it's going to be, again, for voice and just really crisp, clean sound. These don't come with a sub either, though. So anyways, if you like this minimalist look here, I mean, they're just kind of two kind of egg-shaped speakers. They're going to be about this tall here. And they have about, I think it says 4.5-inch woofers on them. So, you know, you get the idea. They're all in that kind of general range here, um, aux in on these. And they just have really good sound. You can see, obviously, in the back, they have a little area here for the bass to come out. So so I, I have never used it myself, but these are ones that are on the list here. So definitely, if you have an idea, check them out or post something in the comments if you've used these and if you like them. All right, we only have a few more, so I think we have three or four more. The next one here is called Pile USA Desktop Bluetooth Speakers, and these are 50 watts. So again, higher watt speakers for being these little tiny speakers. 
Looks like reference monitor speakers as well. These are 131.37 right now. It does come with that little uh, remote here. Now I read some reviews. They said the sound's incredible on these things. They sound really good, but the remote's kind of really cheap and stuff. Overall though, so I guess take it as a bonus. I mean, it's just kind of a bonus thing. Although it looks like there's a couple controls in the back here. But I guess most of them are going to be on that controller, so take that with a grain of salt. Overall, though, I've never used this before, so again, post in the comments if you have, but these are kind of on the list as well. Pile. All right, the next one is more of a budget speaker, but it was on the list of a lot of these experts for some reason. This is the Cyber Acoustic CA3610, and you can see it here. So it's 49 bucks. It's under 50 bucks. It's basically going to be, you know, it looks like kind of cheap speakers. It's going to have the two left and right channel plus a nice sub. You can see the quality of the sub there, though, as far as the material it's made out of. It's not going to be the highest quality. It does come with a little puck here for, you know, aux in, volume control and stuff like that. But surprisingly, this thing was actually on a lot of the lists. It said it got loud enough. It had a lot of bass. It was really good overall sound for voice and stuff like that. For under 50 bucks, they recommended it as one of the best you could pick up. Again, if you use these, post in the comments. I've never heard of these either, but let's keep moving. All right, the next one comes from a company we all recognize again, Creative. So this is the Creative T100s. This was on the list on a lot of them as well. 84, 85 bucks roughly. It's 15% off right now. You can see them right here. They're, they look like obviously just normal Creative speakers. You get two of them, but you also get a remote here. You can see the remote right there, which is nice if you want to sit and kind of adjust the volume and stuff like that. On the back of them, let me just see if I can get to the back of them. Sorry about this. They have optical in though, which is kind of nice. They have obviously an aux in. So some various kind of connections into it. But overall, I guess the sound's very crisp and clean. And if you're looking kind of for a budget speaker, but you want to spend just a little bit more, this is kind of what they recommend. Now we got two more left. This next one has no Bluetooth, but it's kind of an old one and you can't really find it in many places. But if you can find it, they recommend this as being just good old speakers. Take a look over here. This is going to be only 79 bucks right now. This is at Walmart actually, but this is the Bose Companion 2 multimedia computer speakers. You remember these. These were out for many, many years. I don't think they even, I don't know if they're producing them anymore or not because they weren't on Amazon, but you can find them in other companies like this, like Walmart and stuff. But for 80 bucks, they're Bose. They have really good sound. They have pretty good bass, you know, without having a sub included. Um, and you've seen these, I mean, I'm sure you've seen these, on, you know, you can see the size of them here. I'm sure you've seen these all over, you know, over the years and stuff like that. But if you can pick them up and you can get a good price like this, they used to be a lot more. I think they're worth it. All right, so the last one on the list I've never heard of either, so post if you've heard of them. These are the Mackie CR4BT for Bluetooth, four inch, they're four inch speakers. They're called the uh, multimedia monitor pairs. So they call them monitors as well. Again, good for voice, good for instruments, stuff like that. So they sit in your desk. I think you'd like these because of the aesthetics. You have to like that green color. Um, I think these said that these are around 50 or 40 watts. I think it said 50 watts actually. So you're going to get a lot of power with these. $119.99 and uh, not a bad cost, I guess. On the back of them, obviously, they have a whole bunch of different connections. But if you're going to be connecting them to your computer, you might need the right cable. So do your own research there. They're a little bit different. I don't know if they even have an aux. I think they have a maybe. Yeah, they have an aux maybe on the front over there. So they do on the very front of them. So overall, I've never heard of these before, but this is what they recommend. And this is the last one in the list for the under 150 bucks. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. This video got really long, but I just wanted to give you a good list of what the experts say. It's not me saying it. It's what the experts are saying. Always do your own research. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick showcase. I do the research for you, and then you guys can look at it and then go in and you know click on the links and see what you like. Look at the connections. Make sure it's Bluetooth or whatever you need. We'll talk to you in the next video. Maybe in about, I think, two days. I do like every two or three days. All about tech. Peace.